take the eight bars of somebody rhyming and, and if it's like the nine level, it's kind of very similar to some some of the drum patterns that people like him. We're in fucking Prague, baby. Today I wanted to film a little bit of drone stuff, but, well, it's raining, but we might be able to do it later on. First things first, we're gonna shave a little bit. We're becoming a little bit messy. Better. This is a gorgeous view here. This is a gorgeous view here. It's just a pity it's a crack day. How in the fuck is she in a bikini down there? What in the world? It is fucking terrible weather, wind, rain, everything and she's down there in a fucking bikini. I don't get it. But there's a very sort of important message that I do want to get across, mainly to an awful lot of 18 years old upwards. And I'm just walking in all of their shots, but okay. Don't get stuck in a job that you hate for the rest of your life. Just don't. I mean, Let's be real here. I did work in a shop for three years, which got me through college, which was great. It funded me, it gave me money to do what I wanted, and it wasn't what I necessarily wanted to do in life. In fact, it was quite the opposite of what I wanted to do in life. You can easily get stuck and comfortable in a job that's very handy and gives you the money that you need at the end of every week. But at the same time, it's not what you want to do, so don't do it. I took the step to leave that job in the shop, which I found was very handy, very easy, but coming home stressed and annoyed every day is not worth it, especially for a job that you do not want to do for the rest of your life. That's why I'm on this journey. There's an awful lot of wind out today as well. So to sort of reiterate the point, I have a few friends one of which I asked one day, what is your ambition in life? What do you want to do the most out of everything? What did she say? Photography. Why won't you do it? She claims it's not feasible. <laughs> what I'd say to anybody who says that is it's not feasible because you make it not feasible. You're not trying to do it. Try your hardest, try every day to make it feasible and eventually it will work out for you. So don't say it's not feasible. Those are excuses. Excuses are in the way of your ambition and your goals in life. If you make excuses, you will never, ever, ever reach your goals. You need to challenge yourself every single day of your life. Do something that makes you nervous. Do something that makes you apprehensive about the day that's coming up. I'm 100% by myself for this journey. Apart from the people that I might meet along the journey, I'm completely 100% by myself. And this is the step that I'm taking. I've left the money, I'm going on my own creative path, and whether or not I succeed, I'm gonna to stick to it. Because I'm not going back to a job that I hate 
or that I dislike or that's not for me for the rest of my life. Don't do that to yourself. I just came across this just randomly. I was walking through the city. Um, we're just about to go into this Carl Zeman Museum, who's a film director. And he seemed to have an awful massive, uh, he seemed to push forward the boundaries of animation in film. And I'm pretty interested in this actually. This is gonna be really, really good. So I guess the big thing I'm saying today is be like Carl Zemin. Try and push and push and push for the best that you can do. Challenge yourself every day because if you get too comfortable, well, you're not really living, are you? A big, massive fucking turnip right there. <sighs> All right, so. We're back in the room now. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just take some of the files off my camera and import it onto the computer. And I'm gonna see when that rain is actually gonna stop so we can do a little bit more footage later on and possibly bring out the drone. Wait. All my stuff is moved. And I have this room by myself. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so they, they gave me this here. It basically says, we are so sorry, but for technical reasons, in brackets, moving beds, we had to move your stuff. Visit our reception and enjoy Czech beer for free as an apology. That's pretty kind of him. So I'm just gonna go get my Czech beer now. Live jazz on a boat? Hmm. I would slightly be interested in live jazz on a boat. I'm not gonna lie. You know you're not posh enough when you don't know what the word aper aperitif means. I can't even pronounce it right. What the fuck is an aperitif? You know, I've never done a car four-way, but you know what they say, there's always a first. <laughs> 